Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your likes, comments, sharing and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Welcome to those of you new just tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for the collective. Uh, what someone really needs to hear right now. So I just let uh, spirit um, bring whatever message that needs to come through. Uh, so it's not going to resonate um, with everyone. So uh, please keep that in mind if it starts to if you start to feel confused or anything, um, it's probably not your reading. Um, I do offer personal readings, so if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below the video description, um, as well as all the decks I'll be using here today, um, all the items you see except for the Halloween items, my Instagram information, and uh, the candles will be below. I am using the clarity candle for manifestation of this reading, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and get the general energies uh, surrounding uh, what someone really needs to hear right now. I'm also going to get your energy and the person or the situation that uh, the message um, may be about, okay? Um, that energy, okay? What The focus energy. So... Um, if you happen to hear me say he or she, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So the masculine or the feminine can be male or uh, female. Okay, so just take it how it resonates. And when I'm talking about you, I could be talking about your person. So again, I'm going to let whatever comes through, whether it's soulmates, uh, twin flames, the masculine, feminine or, you know, family situations, work, whatever a uh, spirit wants to talk about at this time, I'm just going to allow uh, for it to come forward okay so i'm going to go ahead and get started uh because i got a lot of decks out here <laughs> there will be an extended version to this reading so some of the decks may be more in the other reading but a lot of these will be here so i've got a lot out <laughs> so um this is an energy oracle this is energy surrounding what someone really needs to hear right now so we have happy family so we have four this is um, foundations. So this could be around uh, family situations. Uh, you know, um, you know, your brother, your sister, mom, uh, children. But this is about that, you know, that ultimate happiness. You see, they're all like tied together. They're all happy. OK, so let's get another energy here. And we have caring connections, number 14. Okay, so this is um, this number could be significant for some of you, but it's also five. So we already have four and five, a progression energy. Um, there could be a change. This could have to do with, you know, um, I feel it has to do with love relationships, but it can be what it says, caring connections. Anybody you have a fondness for. Okay, so let's go ahead and get another card. And we have 35. Um, this number could be significant. It's also number eight. Um, so it could be something that's been going, you know, on a loop. Or it could have to do with twin flame connection because that's the infinity symbol. And then we have first chakra Archangel Michael here. So I feel like you need to know that Archangel Michael is protecting this caring connection, this happy family Um so if you are worried about maybe a family situation or maybe you're worried about uh, your relationship or uh, the divine masculine or the divine feminine, this there's some protective energy here um, to protect this uh, energy. So I'm always already feeling like it's not nothing for you to be concerned with. This is being protected. Okay. Because we have the first uh, chakra, Archangel Michael, which is about the, the base in, you know, earthly matters, uh, protecting things. So it's this very um, secure type of energy, especially with Archangel Michael here. So this is really, uh, really good, positive energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the energy that... Um, uh, let's get the energy that you are in. This is the uh, Spirit of the Animals Oracle. And we have elephant greatness. So this is this is 
perfect. So love is your strength. If you guys have watched my channel, you know elephants are my favorite. <laughs> love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. Okay, so already what I'm getting here for some of you, this is going to be a strong message for uh, some of you. If you're worried about your family members, maybe in your house, your foundation, anything like that. Okay, this could have to do with finances too, involving your family, being able to take care of them. This is Archangel Michael already letting you know that you are protected. Your family is protected. Everybody you love and that loves you are protected and you are protected. You have this strong energy and your love is your strength and you are a leader so you can overcome any situation. So if it has to do with your finances or it have to do with your, your soulmate or your twin flame, uh, whoever it is, you your love is your strength. So the love that you have is, um, I feel like it is the solution to everything. Like it's, it's going to solve everything that you're concerned about. Um, if that makes sense. And that I feel like it has to do with relationships, um, and, or, um, finances. Okay. So let's go ahead and get energy, um, of, your person that you may be thinking about um, in this uh, situation or what you might be focused on. And we have the prong horn action. Um, now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success okay so this is either the person that you're thinking about is in this mode of action of taking some type of action and moving forward with confidence if you are focused on a particular uh, subject like as far as going forward with a project or a career or, or anything like that this is what the focus is and it's is basically saying that you with this energy here that you are protected to do this you know that you have the talent you have the quick wit and you are you know you will be successful okay because you are great so you're going to be successful um and then for some of you uh, this could have to do with someone you're thinking about and they're going to be successful and they may be urging um, your person, if it has to do with a person to come forward, um, with this successful energy. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and start getting more into this, uh, reading here, move these cards down. I need it. I need more space. I got so much stuff going on in here. Okay. So this is the quantum Oracle. So we're going to get um, three subjects around uh, what you need to hear. Now, these could be separate messages or it could be tied all into this. Sometimes it does, you know, tie into it. And then sometimes it has separate side messages that I will pick up on um, intuitively. So let's go ahead and get three cards about what someone needs to hear at this time. It can relate to this energy or it could be separate energies. So I'm going to put the cards down first and then we'll go into this. So this could have to do with a commitment. So we have number three events. So this could be something that is taking place in, you know, actual event. Somebody might be signing a contract. Um, this could be business. This could be um, legal, you know, relationships, but it has to do with a commitment. So we'll go further into that. So let's get the next energy. And then we have great achievement again, events. So this number was this three. So this could be significant that number three, we do have three, four and five so far in this reading. So we have um, number one, um, this is about um, new beginnings. So we have great achievements. Um, so there is some type of event possibly surrounding a commitment um 
This could be like gatherings with other people. You could be celebrated. You could be recognized. Also, I'm going to get um, an advice or message at the end of the reading before I go off to the extended. Uh, just to let you guys know. And then we have family. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. That is progression energy. There is definitely a movement forward. There is action taking place. There is strength um, in what's going on. Whatever you're doing or someone around you that you're thinking of. Okay. So this, again, we have family here. So this definitely, for some of you, is going to have to do with a family situation. Possibly involving children. Okay. Caring connections. Uh, things of that uh, nature or someone that feels like family, you know, a close a family. But a lot of you, this is going to be actual family members. So there's some type of uh, com commitment, a great achievement here when it comes to family. So we have people. So let's go further into these um, energies. I'm just going to move these over a little bit because I think I'm going to need that space right there. Okay. All right, so let's get more into this here. What is this commitment about? So I'm gonna use my Mystery House uh, deck. Uh, this is my newest deck. It is available if you live in the United States. You can get it from my site or my Etsy shop. If you're international, interested in any of my uh, decks, uh, please send me an email below and I will send you the link to order. What is this commitment about? If behind what someone really needs to hear. What is this commitment? So we have night terrors, past, memories haunted. So this could be about a past a commitment, uh, a past relationship that was involved. Um, someone could be having uh, nightmares or night terrors around this past, uh, about this past commitment having a lot of memories, being haunted by it. So let's go ahead and go further. And this is my situations deck. This is also available below. Just telling more about this commitment and these night terrors about past memories are haunted. Okay, access granted. Okay, so someone is getting some type of access um, I feel like they're getting some access through their these night terrors about the past, the memories um, involving a commitment that they may be haunted by this energy. Okay, um, some of them could be hiding. You know, they could be checking you out on social media. They could have a fake profile, but there is some energy here around someone is being haunted by a past commitment a uh, past it could be a relationship um, it could be a job a legal situation so let me get another card here for what this might be about this is the um, steampunk tarot so let's get another energy here about this past commitment these night terrors about the past this access granted what is someone gaining access to okay so it does have to do with the lovers Okay, a lot of you will be dealing with a twin flame connection. Um, this is number six. So I mentioned six already. I feel like I did. Mm. <laughs> I can't remember. Anyways, I think I said it, but I don't remember now. Um, I know there was progression. Maybe it was the one, two, yeah. Okay, maybe six, six is next. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Wow, okay definitely a lot of forward movement so this is about passionate lovers there's the angel here watching over the two of them so this could be an energy where i feel that this is could be um archangel michael watching over this connection um trying to i almost feel like for some trying to guide someone uh to come out of these night terrors of the past these memories uh, maybe um, someone that might have hid from this commitment or that was fake in the relationship. Um, 
I'm also getting that this person that it has been hiding from this that hasn't come out they've been in these night terrors and spirit is trying to get them to come out of this energy okay by having a lot of memories like they're they're having to revisit this energy some of you guys could be dealing with um, a gemini so i'm going to get another card for this energy here this is my twin flame messages uh, this is also available below Let's get another message around this commitment, what this has to do with these night terrors and access granted. I miss you much. Okay, so someone is being granted access to another person through their dreams, through these night terrors about the past involving a, a love situation okay and then this person is realizing how much they miss you so we have i miss you much so your person is really missing you um this commitment that you guys had um with each other some was actually like a love commitment and um i mean like an actual a legal commitment some could just be you know some type of relation commitment that you guys had or they hid from making this uh, official um, is what I'm getting. Okay, so some of you, this could, like I said, involve a family situation as well from this uh, past. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next uh, energy here. So I feel like basically uh, spirit is showing someone here um that may be involved in a commitment now or was in a commitment um they're gaining they're having a lot of night terrors about this a relationship okay that involves a very caring connection that had a lot of love in it so this could have to do with you um this could be your energy, but someone is being gained access about this connection with you or you with them through their uh, night terror. So through dreams and they're really realizing how much they miss you. OK, so let's go ahead and get the next card here. What is this great achievement? What is this great achievement? Wow. OK, this is an awesome energy so we have screen park fear horrified so someone has made a great achievement when it comes to their fear something that they're horrified about okay so they are uh they've taken some type of step this could be you you are in this energy when it comes to greatness um you could be um wanting to put any type of things that is causing you a lot of terror in the past or someone being fake in this relationship even though you may miss them so it could be your energy it could be the both of you and your energy could be sharing this um but there's a great achievement when it comes to fear so you or whoever you may be thinking about has made a great achievement when it comes to fear they've they've something successful they've reached a level of success when it comes to fear OK, so they're no longer uh, that's what this action is about. OK, so this is either you taking action towards your fears or this is your person taking action towards their fears, whoever you are thinking about. So let's get another energy behind this great achievement. Karmic. OK, so this could have to do with a third party relationship or lesson. So this could be lover a friend or a fear i feel like it has to do mostly with fear but it definitely could involve a third party situation a karmic okay so let's get another energy here around this great achievement i think i said you guys this was the steampunk tarot but if i didn't that's what it is <laughs> all right so let's get what else is this great achievement King of Swords. So another great achievement is logical thinking as well. 
Okay, King of Swords is all about planning. This is about communication. This is about being serious. Okay, taking things serious. So I'm sensing that some may have cut out fear because the King of Swords is going to be uh, going to be fearless. Okay, he's going to be thinking logically. He's going to cut out whatever is not needed. And so he's not afraid to communicate that as well. So there's some type of great achievement possibly surrounding this King of Swords or this is your energy. Uh, this is Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius. <laughs> um, yes, that's right. I, I think I tried to merge two words and it made me it, it didn't sound right. Anyway, <laughs> air signs, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. I think I was trying to say like Sagittarius with Aquarius. Anyways, <laughs> so this is about logical thinking. This person has a book. They've got a plan. They're reading. OK, they're thinking logically. And there's been a great achievement when it comes to fear, cutting out the fear when it comes to a karmic, a third party, a relationship or a lesson. So something has been accomplished. OK, someone has um, accomplished something when it comes to being afraid of a karmic or a third party relationship or some type of fear. OK, or these energies when they're like this is what spirit is telling you that you need to do. But I feel that there's been a great achievement. OK, that's what I'm getting from. I feel like this has been successfully done. You or someone you're thinking about it doesn't have to be these signs. This could be somebody that's very serious, like, you know, they could be very uh, uh, cutting to. Um, it could be like a serious energy, like military, police officers, judge, judges, uh, you know, government officials, uh, things of that nature. So let's get another car for this great achievement. You're in my head. Yeah. So there's been a great achievement when it comes to fear re regarding, regarding a third party or some type of a lesson. This has been accomplished. OK, and someone has really been in their head about this energy. Um, there might be in this also whatever has been in their head has made this person um, take action towards this. OK, this mental torment. So whoever has been in this energy of mental torment, they are is, is driving them to step forward and um, face their fears. OK, that's what I'm getting step forward and face their fears. Definitely could be you, but it could be a person, too, because or the situation, because both of them are very strong. We have greatness and we have action. So let's go ahead and get the uh, last message here. Why is the family energy here? People. Who is this family or what is this about involving a family? So we have hollow commitment, divine union. OK, so this could be your soul connection. We have this carrying connection. We have commitment here twice. So this could be an actual um, commitment that you may be concerned about that is being protected at this time. So I'm getting here that if you're worried about your soulmate or your twin flame connection, this is being this is being protected. This is um, a divine union, okay, is being protected. And your love is your strength and leadership. It says leadership is your path. So I feel like your love is possibly guiding someone to get out of their head. Okay. Also, it could be guiding you as well. But I feel like your love is guiding someone to get out of their head of fear, being afraid. Okay. To go towards things that they really want. So let's get another energy of why this uh, family card is here. Along with this hollow. So we have done. Completion. Lesson learned. Okay. So something has been learned around a family situation. Possibly involving an, a commitment. Or divine union. We do have commit, commitment here twice. So some of you could be like 
your person might have learned a lesson around a legal commitment possibly being fake or you've learned this lesson about some type of commitment where somebody has um wasn't you know being truthful not showing their true feelings but there's lessons have been learned around i feel like caring connections in a family situation there so something has been learned here some of you again this involves some type of a third party relationship uh energy so let's go ahead and get another card around this family situation why is this here for what someone really needs to hear why is the family here with um hollow and done so we have temperance okay so we have a lot of angelic presence here with the lovers with the angels there we have angels here and then we have archangel michael here so some of you could be dealing with a sagittarius a Sagittarius. <laughs> it just didn't sound right. I don't know. I feel like I'm talking weird. Anyway, we have 14. So here we go again. We have 14 here twice. So it is about some type of balance. It is about balance, action, and emotion. Step in this foot in this water. This is also about patience. So I feel like someone energy also, whatever their patience, I feel like someone's patience is done involving a family uh, situation um, some that might be in the commitment or just some that might be in a third party situation where there is commitment someone is done someone's done with their their patience or spirit is telling them or you uh, to be done with that energy this is about uh, balanced action and emotions but it also um, is about timing so i feel like time is up like time is up it's time for people to actually take action. Um, that's what's coming through here um, with this message. So 14s you might see, which is also fives. Fives are about change. So something could be definitely changing when it comes to timing here. So let's get another card here around this family situation. So we have my past really did a number on me, but I'm healing. So there's two references to the past. So some of you, this could be someone that may have hurt you in the past, someone that miss that you miss. Um, there is some energy here where someone is healing from something that took place in the past um, involving some deception. And then some are wanting to heal something from the past that is involving some type of deception. OK, so that's what I'm getting here um, as a message uh, that spirit is wanting to bring uh, forward towards you. So there is some type of great achievement that you or someone you're dealing with have um, achieved when it comes to fears around uh, karmic energy, a person or a lesson um, regarding somebody that they're missing uh, from the past but now they're wanting to heal. They're no longer wanting to wait. Um, they've learned something through this, okay? So there is some type of protective energy uh, that Archangel Michael is here um, to uh, protect you and whoever you may be thinking about in your family situation for uh, a more loving, caring connection, okay? And so the love that you have is guiding this okay is is guiding you so that if there's any problem that you are dealing with you're going to overcome this um if this is about your person they're going to take action towards um this energy and um and if it's you you're going to take action towards leaving this type of energy or this is what spirit is telling you to do okay so i'm going to go ahead and get a message um from the crystal mandala oracle here of what spirit wants to tell you at this time before i go over to the extended um and then when i uh go in the extended i'm going to see some of the bottom overall energies um as well so we'll go a little bit further into the in the extended and see what is this karmic was it a person or was it a lesson 
and what is done and who made this family situation involved. Okay, so I'm going to use the Kipper deck to see if it'll tell me any kind of character traits for that and also that commitment in the past. So what is the message Spirit wants to bring forth to you right now? Advice, message from Spirit. Okay, so we have number 37. Um, that could be significant for some of you. It's also number 10. Tens bring endings, endings that bring about new beginnings. So we have goddess, Tara, and Tibetan uh, courts, her eye ever open. So we have crystal goddess, 888. Okay, so that's infinity symbol. So let me go ahead and get that from the book and read this. I see the light is fading, so I'm going to need to go fast. So I don't have to turn on the light when I do the extended. All right, let's see. I might have to anyway. If the light goes down quick now, all of a sudden. Started getting dark like around four. So I was like, what the heck? Okay, so all right. So let's go ahead and read this. So we have her eye ever open. We bring you the empowerment of her eye ever open, the divine protection around you. There we go. Archangel Michael, the divine protection around you is absolute and complete. Your simple request for the universal mother to watch out for you and to protect what has meaning for you allows you to live your life, do your work and know the most powerful one is caring for your well-being on all levels. You can trust, be free from worry, and remain open to the world with joy in your heart. Okay, so the clear message I'm getting from that is that it's not that you're, if some of you that may be letting go of a past connection with your, her eye ever open, this means your intuition is very open. You see everything clearly. You know that your connection is protected. You know that it is sacred and the angels are here letting you know that whatever worries that you have around a family situation, around a soulmate, a twin flame, anything like that is protected, but you are no longer in fear. You're no longer worried or you need to not be worried because you are great. Okay. You're going to go forward. You're going to achieve things. You're going to achieve greatness. And if whoever is around that wants to be in your world, they're going to catch up at some point but in the meantime you're going to go forward you're going to move forward with your life you're going to achieve great things accomplish great things and this energy your love i feel is going to guide whoever needs to come forward towards you in your life and this connection that you're thinking about that you're focused on everybody that you love whoever it is is protected you have divine protection i mean that is pretty I mean, that's a nice closing message. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. I love it. So I hope that resonated with you guys. If it did, please like, comment, share. Also, if you're new, please subscribe. Um, again, I'm going to go over to the extended. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. You have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.